gather round because we're about to witness a bunch of players who took one look at fame and fortune and said, nah, that's not for me. These guys had the audacity to reject the glittering lifestyle that comes with being an elite football star. Let's dive into the intriguing story of Erling Haaland, the football sensation who had the audacity to turn down Manchester United in 2019. Despite the opportunity to play under his former coach Ole Solskjaer, Haaland decided to make a bold move and join Dortmund instead. Well, he believed he wasn't quite ready for the big club scene. Smart thinking. Fast forward to today and Haaland is dominating the pitch. Who needs the Red Devils when you can conquer the world in sky blue? Haaland's decision is paying off big time and he's scoring goals while United play catch up. Elsewhere, back in 2005 when Neymar was just a youngster with dreams of football stardom, he had the chance to join none other than Real Madrid under the watchful eye of Florentino Perez. But guess what? Our hero, in all his wisdom, decided he was too young to take that giant leap. And together with his family, Neymar made the bold decision to stay put, even though all the cool Brazilian kids were flocking to Europe at the time. Now fast forward to today and Neymar has conquered the world in his own way, proving that sometimes it's better to dance to your own samba beat and follow the path that feels right. Real Madrid's loss turned out to be Barcelona's gain and Neymar continued to dazzle us all with his skills, charisma and perfectly coiffed hair. Now here's a case that proves passion can sometimes triumph over the allure of a big club. Enter Jamie Vardy, an unstoppable force behind Leicester City's remarkable Premier League win in 2016. After achieving footballing glory, Vardy found himself inundated with offers and one of them came from none other than Arsenal, but Vardy decided to stick with his beloved Foxes. Arsenal triggered Vardy's £20 million release clause, hoping to add his goal-scoring prowess to their ranks. The temptation was real. Vardy even went as far as scouting out schools in London for his kids. But in the end, he pulled out, knowing that something special was brewing at the King Power Stadium. He wanted to take them to the next level, and that's why he stayed. Similarly, Marco Royce decided to remain loyal to his club. Turning down Bayern, one of the giants of German football, takes serious guts. But Royce, with his heart set on wearing the yellow and black, made a decision that deserves a standing ovation. In 2012, while others may have been lured by the glamour of Bayern, Royce proudly chose to hold on to the jersey of Dortmund. And what makes him even more special is that he did this despite never winning a single Bundesliga title. That's right, he stayed in Westphalen, fighting tooth and nail with his Dortmund teammates, and he plans to retire with them. If we're talking about players who share Marco Royce's unwavering passion, one name that comes to mind is Xavi Hernandez. Back in 2014, when Pep Guardiola was in charge at Bayern, he tried to convince Xavi to join him. But the current Barcelona boss turned down the offer and decided to stay with his Catalan giants to help them win the treble once again. Now, you might think it's a no-brainer to join a team like Bayern, especially after a season where Barcelona only clinched a single title, but Xavi had other plans. He wanted to stick with his beloved Blaugrana and bring glory back to the club. Somewhere similar to Xavi's story, you can't shy away from mentioning Steven Gerrard, who stayed loyal to Liverpool. Let's further dissect this with his two encounters with Jose Mourinho. First it was Chelsea in 2004 and then Real Madrid during Mou's reign. The man was a hot commodity attracting attention from all the big names across football. Rumours swelled about Gerrard leaving Liverpool for Chelsea and things took an unexpected turn when a leaked phone text to Mourinho revealed that Gerrard was saying that he wanted to let him know that he was okay to join Chelsea. But Gerrard's dad stepped in with some life-changing advice. He told his son that staying in Liverpool would make him a legend, a boy. Was he right? A year later, Gerrard etched his name in footballing history by leading Liverpool to a jaw-dropping comeback win in the unforgettable miracle of Istanbul. That must have sealed the deal for Gerrard as he chose to stick with the Reds for the long haul. But wait, there's more. Mourinho, never one to give up easily, made a second offer when he was at Madrid. The big cash was on the table, but Gerrard had made up his mind. He rejected the allure of the glitzy Spanish club and continued his glorious journey with Liverpool. But now, talk about audacity. In 2020, Iñaki Williams stunned everyone with his bold move. He declared his loyalty to Athletic Bilbao while rejecting the chance to join Barcelona and play alongside Lionel Messi. Barcelona were looking for emergency signings and Williams was on their radar, but he had his priorities straight. 
In a candid interview, he stated that Bilbao meant everything to him. Even if Messi could have joined his beloved club, Williams would have signed him there. Talk about unwavering dedication. Likewise, Alan Shearer, the legendary striker, had not one but two tempting offers from big clubs, Man United in 96, Barcelona in 97. However, he chose his beloved hometown club, Newcastle. Romelu Lukaku once said, who would say no to the biggest team in the world? Well, Alan Shearer did. When Lukaku made that statement after joining Manchester United, Shearer was quick to respond, tweeting, I did, I turned down Barcelona. If you want another dose of loyalty, listen to this story about Francesco Totti. Madrid's president Florentino Perez had his eyes set on Totti as the next Galactico in his star-studded team, but Totti had other plans. In his own cheeky words, he said that he learned in school that family is the most important thing in the world. So for him, Roma was his family and he couldn't leave the city and the club. Thus, Totti valued his roots and his boyhood club, AS Roma, more than anything. Sure, he could have had a cabinet full of trophies if he had joined the mighty Santiago Bernabeu, but for Totti, Roma wasn't just a club, it was emotion. Lastly, Marek Hamsik, the former Slovakian international, once turned down big offers from Juventus and Bayern Munich in 2017. He even risked parting ways with his agent Mino Raiola because of his decision. Hamsik believed that money wasn't everything in his career. Agent Raiola had been urging Hamsik to find new motivation and leave Napoli, but Hamsik had a different perspective. He valued winning with Napoli more than achieving success elsewhere. For him, it wasn't just about the paycheck and the trophies, he needed to feel something deep within his soul. So, in a world where elite clubs came knocking, these players boldly said, thanks, but no thanks. They preferred the thrill of hometown glory, the warmth of loyal fans, and the joy of being more than just a transfer statistic. Cheers to those who choose love over labels and wrote their own legendary tales on the pitch. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.